never ask you a favour again. So everybody understand what you're doing, eh? Yeah. Okay. My man here has come out of retirement, especially for me. When we get in the bank, he's the boss. Now to do things proper, you can't afford variables. So just get on with the job, efficient, and we're out. So, no talking. Understood? Show the way. Ow. See a lock. What does that mean? Well, it could be one of them new ones. You can only unlock it with a laser beam. Did we bring the laser beam with us? Where can we get all of the laser? Oh, listen, there's no time for that. We'll have to use the old ways. Bring the oxy. It'll take us all night and we'll get through. Let's have the oxy. There's nothing. It's okay. I 
I just opened it gently. Could be a laser alarm. in the bank for likely to go to the local constabulary, am I? I'm not talking about them. I'm saying I've got a reputation to keep up. And we don't want anyone to know what's happening here. I ain't gonna have me mouth, am I? Just make sure you don't. It cost me money too. You have to pay me back. Oh, leave it, Stretch. You know I ain't got a bean. I take your burn. Oh, no, not again. Bring it to my club, eh? Not the real Stretch. Not the company wheels. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, trip it. Hey, we'll just cheer you up. I just don't think the dozen pork chops in the van. <laughs> Here we are then. Finest English pork chops. Off me, thanks, Mick. I think I lost my appetite. I'm starving. That's hanging about for you, that is. All right, don't start. Where are you been anyway? Out. Where? Just out. Uh, you went to get the uh, chops. Why'd you get pork chops this time of night? Great deal of difficulty. Only a brap show, isn't it, James? Yeah, well, you know how quick things move in business, and uh, I've been made an offer I can't refuse, as they say. Oh, yeah, fair enough. You had a fish to fry. Sorry to see you go, son. You're just getting along very nicely. Yeah, well, I must crack up, mate. Time to go. The parting's sad. Nice to meet you. Bet you're glad. <laughs> Banging coming from the old. Yeah? yeah. Oh, no! Can I help you, officer? Is this number 34? Yes, that's right, sir. You the owner? I am, sir. Definitely I am. The prerogative owner in statute law freehold. You ever seen this before? Latex times. It's a bit on the filthy side, isn't it? The thing is, it's got your address here to send replies to. How did that get there? You do realise it's an offence to send obscene publications through the post, don't you? Well, up. We've had complaints. It's got nothing to do with me, officer. Look, it's your address, Chief, and you're the owner. So you better come along to Limehouse with me and we'll sort it out there. No! Been robbed. Oh, no. Stand back, stand back. I've got a great hole in my cell. The freezer's empty, and there's a trail of meat that leads right away to here. Here. Here's one of my pork chops. I don't know anything about his pork officer. You don't know much about much, do you? No, I don't. Come on, down a limehouse, you. Yeah. You better come as well. You can't do this to an innocent yeah, all right, man. All right. It's wrongful arrest, and I'll sue you when I can. In a car, Pop. I hate cars. They go too fast, the rest too quick, and never last. Just in the car. Oh! Please. Right, I 
it is. No. Yeah, that had a bit of fish rank going. Joke, joke. <laughs> <laughs> drive, drive. The sun sets on the tails, another day comes to an end. We've got the night ahead and in the morning. Is it just another day? Oh, will prospects find a way on the crawling city streets? Hoping for tomorrow In the city filled on dreams A broken smile, a magazine The daytime man on the radio The real star is getting out To people like you and people like me We're working for tomorrow